Ever wonder why your movie nights are so poppin', or who's to blame for the rainbow-colored tongues from all that Kool-Aid? Well, folks, Nebraska's the culprit. Yes, Nebraska, the state that's not just about cornfields and cow tipping. Picture this, it's the 1800s and Nebraska is a hip new state on the block. The pioneers are pouring in, eager for a taste of the wild, wild Midwest. They're lured in by the promise of free land and probably a few too many tall tales about gold nuggets the size of your fist. But what they find isn't gold, oh no. It's something far more valuable. They find corn, lots and lots of corn. Enough corn to make a cornholio weep with joy. And they say to themselves, what can we do with all this corn? And thus, the popcorn revolution begins. Fast forward to the 20th century, and Nebraska is a popcorn powerhouse. They're popping out kernels like nobody's business. They've got a popcorn museum, a popcorn ball, and even a popcorn day. It's a veritable popcorn utopia. And if you're wondering what a popcorn ball is, it's exactly what it sounds like, a giant ball of popcorn, because why not? But Nebraska isn't satisfied with just ruling the popcorn world. No, they've got bigger dreams. In comes Edwin Perkins, a man with a vision, a spoon, and some flavored syrup. In 1927, he invents Kool-Aid, and Nebraska once again changes the game. Suddenly, every kid in America is sipping on sweet, tangy, artificially colored goodness, all thanks to good old Nebraska. So, the next time you're munching on some popcorn or sipping on a Kool-Aid, give a little nod to Nebraska, the state that's been popping and mixing since before it was cool, in a nutshell, or should I say a corn husk, Nebraska went from a wild frontier to a popcorn and Kool-Aid kingpin. It's the ultimate rags to riches story with a side of butter and a dash of sugar. So here's to you, Nebraska. Keep popping, keep mixing, and keep making movie nights and summer days a little bit tastier.